It is Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas, Freedom Family. And I have a present for you. When you say the words, subscribe to my channel, did you know that YouTube lights up the subscribe button? It's called a glow up. Let me show it to you. This is what happens. You see that subscribe button? You see how it animates and makes it more interesting to look at? Well, YouTube implemented that as a new feature. Let me show it to you as explained by the YouTube team. Roll it. When you say subscribe or like as a creator, yeah. those buttons light up and they glow up just to give a little bit of delight and connect the UI to the creators. I captured that moment using heartbeat moments. Let me show you another important point about the glow up button. How does YouTube know when to show it? Are they listening to everything you say in your video? No. Here's the answer again from YouTube. Heartbeat. Take it away, click. How does it know that? Like, is it just listening for the words? How does it know when to do the glow up? We have the power of transcripts right now where, uh, within all those videos. And so we use the, that to identify and use machine learning to identify phrases, so. When you upload a video, YouTube auto-generates the transcript and the words subscribe and like get taken from those transcripts that tells YouTube when to glow up that button. But what if you just say subscribe 10 times? Would it show it, would it glow 10 times? No. And let me, uh, let's let YouTube explain why. So where it, you're saying subscribe or like in the right context. And we ins also ensure that it's not glowing up all the time and distracting from yeah. the video. So we have some nice thresholds in place. And so far viewers are absolutely loving the feature. So there's thresholds in place. So if I just say, Hey, I've subscribed to many channels. It will not light up. But if I say, hey, subscribe to my channel if you like my content, it will. Same with the like button. If I say I like chocolate ice cream, it's not going to glow up. But if I say, hey, if you like my videos, click the like button, then it will glow. That's a really cool feature. I hope you also think so. And I hope you'll start saying those phrases in your videos now because you will get more subscribers and like. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so excited I can't talk because you'll get more subscribers and likes by saying that. Now this is Christmas Eve and I'd love to create a little special video for all of you on this special day, November, uh, what is it, November, December 24th. Uh, I'm gonna feature the best heartbeats that I've discovered on Heartbeat, h.ki. But first I wanna explain those moments that I showed you. How did I create these two moments that allow me to jump to those points again here? When you say subscribe. How does here? it know that? Like, is it just listening for the... So this is like a little YouTube player. Do you see it? It's part of our heartbeat. See the heart? Heartbeat product. We built it. It's not part of YouTube. How do you get it? Just go to h.ki in your browser, type that, then Click on Moments Extension. That will take you to the Chrome Web Store where you can add it to your Chrome. And once you do, when you're on YouTube, on any video on YouTube, just press H. So again, I'm gonna be watching, let's say the video uh, at this point, and then maybe he says something exciting. But you like, like you get to see your own tab. How did that come about? H. We started the journey on UTAB because. So now I have a third moment. See, right here, moment three. So here's my first two. When you say, how does it know and that? Like, I'm about. We started the journey on UTAB because there was. That's it. Once you've pressed H, the moment gets saved forever in your heartbeat, and you can delete it, manage it. And if you go to heartbeat at h.ki, h key, which is the same as the hot keys, <laughs> we named it h key for the domain, then you go to my heartbeat, and then you go to moments, and it's right there forever. You can share it, you can come back to it, so you never forget it in the future. Change your habits. Don't change your browsing habits, keep going to YouTube. Just change your key press habit. Whenever an exciting moment happens, press H. That's it, that's the only change to your habits. If you do that, you will never again lose exciting moments as you watch all those YouTube videos that you watch. Now let me share some of my favorite moments that I've collected from many of your videos and your own moments that you created that I also love. I'm gonna start with some uh, impressive jump roll. Take it away. That's pretty good, let's see it again.
I cannot do that. And when I saw this moment, I thought, H, I need, a sto I need to save this moment. This is really cool. Now here's a pretty good one. Who is Lumpy? Lumpy. Lumpy. Uh, no! <laughs> That's Chewbacca's son. Ah! Uh, you were just guessing. You're pulling it out of the air. <laughs> no! Is that right? Is that right? <laughs> yeah! He did. He completely guessed it. Chewbacca's son. That is Lumpy in the Star Wars universe. Here's another one. What does AT AT stand for? <laughs> All terrain armor transport. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and he's right. All terrain armor transport. All right. That was a pretty Lumpy. funny moment. Lumpy. And let's go back to my favorites and let's continue uh, showing you some. Here's a good one. Uh, this is when I was trying to do chin-ups and mummy called. Let's roll it. One, two. Oh, no. What? Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? This mummy's calling. Decline. We don't want to talk to mummy. Okay. Now we're Decline. We don't want to talk to mummy. We're in the middle of exercise. That was so cute. That's when my kids were much younger. And we just moved to Dubai, and uh, yeah, that was a moment that I, I cherish myself. Here's something really cool. This is thumbnail A-B testing on YouTube. Roll it! I would expect nothing less from YouTube. You'll know if you have a tool if you see the test and compare feature when uploading a thumbnail. You'll then be presented with this screen where you can upload two or three thumbnails to start testing. This is a new feature, just like that glow up for the subscribe button, where you can get uh, YouTube to tell you which of your thumbnails are performing better, which of your thumbnails generate more watch time, not just click-through rate, and they let you choose three thumbnails for a single video to test. And then they'll give you a report to show you which thumbnail is doing better, and then you can just choose that one, or you can do additional tests to try another few uh, variations on your thumbnail to get to the... Uh, best results for your channel. Now, this is a new feature. Not everyone has it. Our channel doesn't have it yet. And as he was saying, let me play it again. How do you test if you have it? Look. So I would expect nothing less from YouTube. You'll know if you have a tool if you see the test and compare feature test and compare. in a thumbnail. Let's move on to some other favorites. How about from Mr. Beast, the best advice, which is... Make 100 videos and improve something every time. Do that. And then on your 101st video, we'll start talking like... Make 100 videos. Don't just make one or two or 10 videos. Make 100 videos and improve one thing each time. But what can you improve? Let's find out. Put more effort into the script. The third one, try to learn a new editing trick. The fourth one, try to figure out a way that you can have better inflections in your voice. The fifth one, try to, you know, study a new thumbnail tip and implement it. These are all very simple ideas that you can implement right now in your own videos to get better at making better videos. In fact, Mr. Beast says subscribers don't matter, views don't matter. In fact, the only one thing that matters for all creators is make the best videos that you can possibly make because the YouTube algorithm picks up, picks up on the quality of your content, not your production quality, but your engagement. Meaning, don't say the algorithm sucks, the algorithm doesn't like my videos. It's really your audience that doesn't like your videos. Why? Because it's the audience that doesn't watch them and the algorithm simply picks up on that. And you're blaming the algorithm because it's easy to blame, but you really need to blame yourself for not making better videos. So as Mr. Beast will advise, make the best videos you possibly can. That's the only thing that really matters. Make 100 videos. Okay, and make 100 videos. <laughs> Let's keep going through the best advice. So, uh, here is a creator who quit her fancy Wall Street job to be a YouTuber. I had just quit my fancy Wall Street job and I was figuring out what I wanted to do with my life. I kind of had a plan. I had a startup that I had been working on on the side for a few months now and I wanted to go full time on that. But as time passed, I found that I had a knack for creating content. I found a community on Twitter and I found that I was actually quite good at writing long edge. So she went on to say how she, her journey to getting to be a YouTuber from having a fancy Wall Street job. Now, I also wanted to point out one very important tip that she made, 
which is about pivot. When you make a channel and you want to change your content type, you have to change very slowly. Otherwise, you might as well start a new channel. She actually started a new channel. She went from making an NFT based channel to with like over 20,000 subscribers, abandoning it so that she could create a new channel that's just about how to help YouTubers grow, tips and advice. She found that when she tried to pivot her NFT channel to that type of content, it didn't work. In fact, she was getting fewer views than by starting a brand new channel. And she discovered that because her audience of subscribers only wanted NFT content. When she started uploading YouTube tips, the subscriber feed, which were her initial viewers, would not watch any of her videos. And that's what gave YouTube the negative uh, signal that her videos suck. <laughs> they don't suck, but they suck for her NFT audience. And so YouTube actually punished her videos and never even gave her a chance to build a new subscriber base on that channel because of all those very low watch times and low click-through rates from being such a big content swap, swap that uh, it was actually better for her to start a brand new channel. It was easier to get more views and start a fresh audience. And if you wanna, by the way, if you wanna see any of these videos or any of my favorites, just go to h.ki, search for George, and then click my heartbeat. You see here with 30 followers, click me, then click favorites. You will see exactly the same favorites that I'm showing you here on this video and you can watch them yourself. So if you like that girl and wanna learn about her story and more about the details of what I was just highlighting, you can find all of those moments here. Click any one and watch it to yourself. You can also follow my heartbeat. The link is down there in the description below as a direct link to my heartbeat on heartbeat. And you should also, of course, create your own heartbeat just by signing in, it's free. And then install the Chrome extension, start pressing H and build your own Heartbeat library. Why? Because we're gonna start paying you. Next month, we're launching Heartbeat Studio, which will monetize all the content on Heartbeat. Let me rephrase that. Which will give you the choice of what content you post should be monetizable on Heartbeat. We won't auto-monetize anything. You have to choose what content to monetize. And then we'll pay you 55% of all revenue generated from your content the same as YouTube. Yes, Heartbeat is following the YouTube business model of paying creators, paying everybody 55% profit sharing around uh, from the money earned around the content you post on Heartbeat. But we take it a step further. We're gonna pay the contributors as well. The people who fix spelling mistakes, improve articles by uh, adding photos or better moments or tweaking a moment or improving your title. If you do any of those things to other people on Heartbeat, you will get paid not from the 55%, but from our 45% platform fee. We are actually sharing that with the contributors, the people who improve the content. Does YouTube do that? No, <laughs> hell no. So in fact, we have what I think is a better model for creators and contributors to build Heartbeat. All right. All that's coming in January, so uh, yeah, let's, uh, you, can get, you can hit the ground running by building your heartbeat and audience now at h.ki. Here's another cool one. Friends, morning is here. So Rachel is not happy about all this singing. It's waking her up and she wants to just have a nap. However, Joey loves the singing guy. Morning's here, the morning's here. Sunshine's here, the sky is clear, the morning's here. Hey, you're back. Hey, get into gear. That's one of my favorite funny moments from Friends. And by the way, if you want to just see Friends episodes or moments, just type Friends into the search box at heartbeat, h.ki. And then you'll see 
14 moments and growing of funny friends episodes that we've captured. The whole audience is captured. All the people on Heartbeat are capturing. So I hope you'll enjoy this. Now, guys, it's getting dark. You can see my uh, screen, my green screen is failing me up there in the corner. So I'm going to end the video here for now. I'll make more, of course. Tell me if you like these kinds of like favorites moments on Heartbeat down there in the comments below. I'd love to make more content that you enjoy. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoy my content, click the like button. See what I did there? <laughs> Reinforcing the concept of this entire video, the, the purpose of this video. I hope you'll do the same. All right, guys, Merry Christmas. And it's uh, gonna be an amazing 2024. I feel so pumped to get everything started and we're gonna hit the ground running in the new year. I hope you are just as bright-eyed and bushy-tailed as I am about 2024. By the way, there's 29 days in February in 2024. We have an extra day in the year, so make the best use of it. We have one more day to be productive in 2024 than we had in 2023. All right, until the next episode. Who am I? I am your Papa George, your George Sun Pie, your Obi-Wan George Nobi, many other names you, the beautiful Freedom and Heartbeat family, have given me. I am the CEO and founder of Heartbeat and Freedom, and a few other brands, but we're focused only on heartbeat and freedom. And by freedom, I do mean the Freedom Talent Management Agency, which you can see by clicking freedom down here in the sidebar at heartbeat. H.ki will take you to how to get more views on freedom.tm. And uh, yeah, we have a whole dashboard and it's, it's a 10 year old business, guys. We've been helping YouTubers grow for 10 years a big decade and if you search for anniversary you'll see that we have a 10-year anniversary moment right here photos it's basically Oops. just thumbnails 10 years is how old freedom is today december 1st 2023 this oh someone's calling you yes december 1st 2023 is when we celebrated our 10th year 10 years we started on december 1st 2013 where I made this video, George is an MCN. Now you can partner YouTube channels. That was an amazing day. And 10 years later, we're still helping YouTubers grow both on YouTube, but now we have Heartbeat. And that's our BHAG, our big, hairy, audacious goal that we will make for you. Our brand promise is that we will get you more views on YouTube by using Heartbeat. We will make you more money on Heartbeat and YouTube. We are creating a platform that will help you grow in both areas and as well in the future on Twitch, on Instagram. Heartbeat is the glue that will be putting all of your social media content and all of the major platforms together in one place that your fans can follow and that you can build with fewer restrictions than these platforms in terms of monetization and complete transparency. None of these vague, oh, you were demonetized, but here's a you know list of 50 different policies, one of which you violated, but we won't tell you which one, or we'll just say reused content. It's like, okay, how is it reused, Mr. YouTube? No, we're not gonna tell you anymore. We will tell you more if you fall into those, uh, you know, bad actor categories on heartbeats. So full transparency better monetization, more content types, photos, writing, moments, not just video, and a lot more coming on Heartbeat in 2024 for all of you. And let's help each other grow together as a family, the Freedom and Heartbeat families. All right, guys, that's enough. I better call this guy back. <laughs> He's probably getting annoyed by me. Well, George, why aren't you calling me back? I'll just tell him I was making a video. Until the next video. I am George. You've been watching. Ooh, you're dreaming about love. Yeah.
click that eye to partner with freedom and join the freedom family so we can all grow together you get many perks like position music you also get epidemic sound a lot of other access to royalty free videos sponsorships and many things to help you grow just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community our forums our discord chat servers meet our graphics team meet our community team all of that on discord and the forums what are you waiting for get started and we will grow together as a family because this is the freedom family you are part of it we are all part of it and we're all growing together to get more, George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.